Golf mates, how are we doing? 25th of June. Do apologise if my shirt looks a bit pink. Custy's washed my whites with a load of Jesse May's stuff and there's pink everywhere. So I've got to wear it. Why not? Who cares? What's that, Gary? You like pink? No problem, mate. Right. Golf week. Where have we been? What have we done? Right. Thank you to Glencore Holiday and Andy from Tee Up Law. Uh, they sent us to York and the remit was, come on this trip, tell us exactly what you think. Don't swear, but tell me the truth. So fine. So we went, we went and played York on the Monday. And I'm telling you the truth, York Golf Club is a belter. Really is fantastic. My back didn't ease up, so I didn't play the super. But the greens were rolling at 12. The greens were fantastic. And the elder ball, honestly, really nice. Nice clubhouse, nice food, but the, the course were fantastic. So then I think we played at, stayed at Stay City York or something like that. I'll do a video where I get it all right anyway. I know they took us for a night out around York. It's a part of York where I've never been. Loved it. Fantastic. We went live in the dark twice. And then I finally got it working. And then we went live in uh, basically in some old woman's house, it looked like, didn't it? So <laughs> people who tagged along with the live event, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, so on the day after, on the Tuesday we played Sandburn Hall. And I'll be honest, I'm gonna give York nine out of ten. And Sam Bernal, about, about 7 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10. But basically, I was thinking, when I played it the day after, after the night out in York, I thought to myself, it's right, it's just what you want. It's, it's, you know, it's like a De Vere course, it's just what you want. It will wide open with small, very good greens, but you could spray it a bit. So I suppose after a long night out, it's a course where you want. I wouldn't like to play York, actually, hungover, because that was a tight course. So, that got me thinking that. I think, oh, that trip as well is about 120 quid. So that's a hotel and two rounds of golf, about 120 quid. So that's a bargain. So, when me and Andy were on the way home, we're thinking, because it's so cheap, we were thinking, what about a Ryder Cup in September? Golf Lungs UK and his golf mates, for Andy from Tee Up Law and these taggers. So, obviously, if you support both channels, play, be on the team you like most. There you go, yeah. Yeah, and obviously we'll get some prizes. It'll be a little bit here, 120 quid, but we can... Also, obviously, we'll get prizes and T-shirts, like, so the last day it's red and blue or whatever. You know, we'll do some proper Ryder Cup. So comment below if you fancy it. All right. Quick one, and we'll do another giveaway. An oil awesome T-shirts to Golf for Pete. Simon Tasker. I said Simon Tasker. Uh, Kevin Topping. And Grumpy Graham and John Parr. Now, I'm just waiting for a couple more Pratt giveaways, then I can take them all printers. I don't want to go up printers with four or five t shirts, it costs a bomb. And I'm doing it out of my own goodness of my heart, aren't I? So, anyway, that's that one. This is next one. My golf day, what was a huge success, and everyone raved about it. The club will let me do another. So, I'm doing on the 27th of August, but I'm not going to take any bookings for that yet because I'm not confirmed what's happening because I want to make it bigger and better than it was before and believe me already it's going to be bigger and better you ready for this companies involved already and i ain't telling parkies right they're going to be sponsoring holes already two holes have been sponsored by callaway and wilson staff straight away so look so we're moving in the right direction here so if you can keep getting your golf mates to subscribe and give us the names for shout outs and make sure you like like the videos because this week I've had about five new golf mates from all over the world and that wouldn't have happened because you liked all the videos last week. So if you like what I'm doing, press the like button and make sure you share them. So anyway, yeah, and I think we even might even have Odyssey coming with the putters. I know it's related to Callaway. Before the comp, trying out putters, people get just something different. So it's going to be a really good day. And I'm even thinking now, instead of sandwiches, maybe I can get a barbecue going on the temp where it's beat the pro. But it might not be beat the pro. I might go there for a laugh as well. So it's... Do you know what I mean? Just hang fire on that one. That's This is going to be awesome. I can't guarantee the weather, but I can guarantee a good laugh. Right, so I've got that out. So, just a quick one. I want to get a big oggy supporting my channel. He's got a YouTube channel. I'm Barry Edwards. They're both on about 97, 95 subscribers. If you can just pop over there and show them a bit of love and get them over that 100 mark, basically on YouTube. If you can get over 100 subscribers, it's dead easy to see your videos get out a bit more. So I believe. I know I struggled my hardest to get 100 subscribers. It took me a long time. So, but minor golf mates, they're subscribers. But still the good lads. Right. So, yeah, giveaway on Wednesday. I'm playing Wednesday in a medal round or it's a stable food, but it's still be medal round. Can you comment what will my gross score be? 
I played yesterday and I thought I was going to go on the third wall, but I didn't. Back nine, I played really well. Just when my lessons off Rick kicked in because I was playing that bad, I thought, right, what have I got to do? What have I got to do? So that was great. So, comment below what my gross could just put t shirt gross 150, whatever you want. Uh, my last four rounds have been in the I've been in the in the 70s, so I, I feel like a good round's gonna come. It'd be a comp what means nothing, but it means something to me get me handicapped down. Right, so comment below. Let's get going and let's get cracking, eh? Right, go for Pete, 35 points he had. Right, Adam Jones shot 35 points. Simon Tasker, right, he's not up here. Ah uh, Murph, you know what I mean? The bandit of 13. He's not anymore, he's off eight. He shot a 75 gross. Round Hawkstone with Simon doing the McMillan Challenge. So well done, lads. Anthony Medland of 22, down to 15 now because he watches the channel and realises just have a laugh. And he's saying, it's because of me, because I have a laugh. Don't take it serious, he's playing great. Well, he's down to 15 now. Then he also had 38 points uh, at Stockbroke Manor Golf Club. So absolutely well done, Anthony. Mike Swirls is up here now. He's our on sec. 39 points, well played Mike in the seniors, he come third on a card playoff, so I think they're all on 39, so Mike, well played pal. As we got up there, we might as well go right to the top, Alan Hesseltine shot an 80 gross, 66 net, but that's not the best score of the day, Summit come on in the middle of the night because he lives far away. Right, we've got the Billy McTaggart, he's won a major, he's there with his little trophy buzzing. Well played, Billy. He shot a pair of 73s on... Uh, I, I've forgotten what it was, but it's his... his and I've forgotten where he plays. I'll come to that in a minute. But, uh, yeah, well played, Billy. What else have we got up there? <coughs> oh, yeah. Albany, 329 in North Carolina. Shot 87 gross, but he doesn't tell me his handicap proper, but North Carolina... Love to get over there and have a game. Brian Moore, this is a lovely one. Drop from 20 to 11 because of, I watch your videos and I just go out having a laugh. That's fantastic. Well done. John Parr, get a shot tracer for me and old man Pat. I've got one. It'll be out for the York videos, but uh, I just don't use it. But I will do if you want to see it. Right, Trotter shot an 80 net 71. He's playing solid, but he's playing solid because his wife's away, his daughter's away, and he's playing golf every day. He's probably, probably played golf two times a week. Jeff Smith's been in Greece on holiday. Hi, Jeff, how you doing, pal? Shout out for you. He's been watching the videos. He said the press that him one. He loved it. It was funny. It's not had many views, but it's hard. It's weird. I think when people, when it's sunny out, people play golf, so it's just how it is. Uh, right. Me and Winders on Wednesday, we played at Northern Golf Club. It's called the Mersey Shield, where it's the five Mersey clubs. The best 20 purrings go and play in this. And uh, we had 48 points. 48 points. Can't believe it. So me and Windows played well. Just to let you know, Windows is in Magaluf. And up to now, no change. Still no story. No breaking news. No news flash. Nothing. Uh, he's probably drunk, but there's a few days left of his holiday. Reminds me, I'm going to come to it now, because Gary Grimshaw has said, Windows will definitely bleep bleep in Magaluf. If not, it will black shit. Gary? You need to learn to plat shit, because I don't think it's going to happen. But I'll, I'll keep you all posted, you know I will. Playing with him shortly. Anyway, MJ Davis. Good support of the show, so I'll give some love back. Right, I'm going to move out of the way. This banner. Right, this is a charity kids day at Kidderminster Golf Club. And it's for children's eye cancer, which I didn't know that was. So that's a brilliant. So it's up there now. If you fancy it, if I get the chance, I'll come. But if you fancy it, it's up there now. So there you go, Mr. Davis. Thank you for your support. So, like I said, we were saying a, a score come in late last night, and because he's Australian, it's Chris Oz. Down at the bottom, shot 76 gross, net 64. Awesome, that. Awesome. Awesome. Really were. Matthew McDonald, 37 points. Dave Allen beat Barry Edwards last week, two up, and Barry Edwards were four down, got it back. Uh, where are we? Right, if you want some, I'm on Instagram, so that's down below in the description on Twitter. So follow me on that. You know, you can always, I'm trying to do that a little bit more, but if it's questions for the show or you've done a good score, make sure you comment on this show, on the Sunday show in the garage, please, because I ain't got time to get a lot of time in the morning because it's a family day, forget everything together. 
So uh, I've got to get you bits of questions off different videos. It's really hard for me. There's a good chance I'm probably going to miss some out as well. So appreciate that, pal. Really do. Yeah. Billy Tagger, who won the major, the pitcher, Stoke Albany Championship. Douglas Hard played Glen Eagles last week, so that's happy days. That, in fact, that's a fantastic one, that Glen Eagles, there. Right, just a quick one before we get the third wall out. Right. Rick Shields, Peter Finch, and Andy Carter, who I've not met. I'm going to try and get this West Lanks tomorrow. Bottom of my heart. Gary wants you to play well, I want you to play well. If you don't play well, doesn't bother me how big you all are. If you play crap, you're going on the third wall. If it's really crap, you're on. If it's crap, you might not be on. All right, so the third wall this week. What is it? Well, it's them. These are the lads for the third wall. Start off there, the pro I told you all to follow. He's doing all right. Adam Hodgkinson. He's uh, trimmed up to anything now, so he's, he's lean, lean, mean fighting machine, but he three puts for fun. Last day, the Euro Pro Tour event, last week he had six three puts on his last round, cost him some money. So this week he's back at Burnham Park, I think it's somewhere in Bristol, but he's done really well. He, 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 he lost in a playoff against Stephen Todd while I was walking around with him and got on tally last year. So I done this week, hope you do well, if not I'm going to give it you again. Paul Burr gives it me if I get the audio wrong. I think he should have been playing Kirby Longsdale and because of a persistent rain refused to go out. That's a turd isn't it eh? Paul you turd. Right, Paul Mason played Hart Common. Paul should be off about 5 and he was 15 over with the Shanks. So that deserved to go on the turd wall. I think, oh, quickly, Gary Smith, he's off 7 now. You were on the third wall last week. Same again, he keeps giving me messages on Messenger. And the stuff for the third wall, the other wall, cool wall, needs to be on. Right, third wall. It's going bigger. This ain't a big enough wall. It's just a sign. So this is what I need from you, golf mates. If you've played crap, let me know about it. Then get in touch with me through Instagram or Twitter and send me a picture. Or even better, if you've played with some of your mates at your golf club, and they played crap, tell them they're going on the third wall, take a picture of them and send it me through Twitter or Instagram, the links are below, all right, and we'll get them on so we can get more golf mates for me, which makes it great, and also we can take the piss out of your golf mates because they're on the third wall. All right, I've been Liam Harrison, you've been my golf mates, and I'll see you next week.